So the last time I did this, I got a ton of feedback on how wrong it's I did it. So let's try this one more time, but using your feedback. Today, we're gonna be using the cup paint technique. Basically, all you do is grab some paint, put it in a cup, and then pour it over top of your canvas. But apparently, you guys said I did it wrong, and you're supposed to water down the paint first. So I got these little squeezy bottles from the dollar store, and then that's me pouring the paint into the little squeezy bottle. And then I topped it off with a wee bit of water. And let me tell you, it felt like mixing like water and oil, like two things that like should not be mixed together. It just feels wrong. But you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. Then I just kind of cut out the shadow of a mermaid, and then just like before, I'm gonna put this onto our canvas and then pour the paint over top of it. Basically, it's gonna create like an outline of a mermaid after we put all the paint on oh, there. By the way, look how freaking watery this turned out. Like, I almost didn't believe it. It was actually working. And then I went ahead and started by like experimenting with different techniques. I don't know if this did anything, but it sure felt good. It was just so messy and satisfying. I loved it. And then lastly, somebody told me instead of like tilting it back and forth to use like a blow dryer. So that's what I'm doing right here. And it ended up creating like these paint waves. I gotta say, this was actually really smart. And then this is how it turned out. Lastly, you guys told me to wait until it dries to peel off the sticker. And it shouldn't take that long, so don't forget to follow for updates.